Um, at the end of the day, I mean, I hate losing. I know, I know every guy on this team hate to lose, but I felt like uh, we wanted to win at the end. You know, but we got to play like that each and every quarter. You know, we got to start fast because this offense can be unstoppable, man. We just got to execute all, all every play. You know, it ain't just one man. It ain't just pointing the fingers. We all have to contribute each and every play to keep the change rolling. Do you get the sense at times this season that you're sort of banging your head against the wall and, and not getting any results game after game? I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you gotta, you got to control what you got to control. You know, I'm going to go out there each and every week. I don't care if we 0 and 15. I'm going to go out there and dominate whoever's in front of me. I'm going to continue to uh, play with the uh, dog that's in me, you know, and just continue to just, just fight because I'm, I'm never going to quit no matter what. How frustrating is it to hear the, the fans continue to boo? Zach talked about we're going to turn this thing around and get it right, but just kind of understanding the fans' frustration as well. I mean, at the end of the day, we're playing. You know, they're not, you know, it's, it's, it's way different being inside the circle. You know, at the end, like I said, man, at the end of the day, we, us as players, we control what's going on in the field. The coaches don't control it. Nobody outside, nobody controls it. We bring the juice. We have to go out there and score points. We got to go out there and move the chains, man. It's, it's on us. Now, nobody else is us, the players. We play. You talk between the third quarter. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, everybody started getting that sense that, all right, now this is it. You know, we if y'all want to win, this this is we got to do it now. Ain't no more time ticking. You know, we just gotta um, go out there and just fight. You know, we gotta. I just feel like if we start fast first and second quarter. We start fast each each uh, drive, man. Before the game, we just gotta stop settling for three. If we start turning three into seven, man, we we would have blew them out. I know it's tough to diagnose. What needs to change in the red zone? Is it scheme execution? <laughs> what, what just execution. You know, just attention to details, you know, because we're in great plays. We're in great situations. You know, we just got to uh, find the right uh, receiver or we just got to uh, find the right guy to block to, for the run. You know, we just got to just, just do a better job out scheming those guys, you know, one third, third and goal and things like that, man, because we're a much better team than what we're showcasing. Zach talked about guys needing to make plays, uh, especially in the first half with a slow start. Is inexperience with a lot of guys out there that aren't usually playing in this offense, has that been a factor with this team? At the end of the day, we all prepare the same way. You know, some, some guys might not get the reps that they get. That might be the uh, negative of it. But at the end of the day, man, if you want to make a name for yourself or you want to go out there and uh, make your family proud, make your name on the back of your jersey proud, you're going to go out there and make a play regardless. Just go out there and ask Andy what it is. If you don't know what you're doing, man, just trust yourself because we trust whoever coach put in there, you know, because we practice with everybody here each and every day, man. So I, I trust anybody that goes in there. And when you get in there and get your opportunity, man, take full advantage.